Hello everybody, welcome back to the Battle Master Prince. In the previous episode, we finished off Tainted Lazarus. Again, using the Tainted Lazarus rework mod before the update's out. Again, might be up, might be out, might not. Who knows? It's just I've sort of had enough of waiting. <laughs> not had enough, but like, I've been waiting a while. So we did it. We got him completed. And this time we're going to go in and randomize once again. With the randomizer, I have been removing unlocks as we get them. So we're not going to re-randomize into something we already have. But let's bring it up and see. Blue baby to the beast. Okay. Okay. That <laughs> is kind of ironic because I literally just said, hey guys, I've been removing the unlocks as we get them. We already did that one. I must have missed it. One second. Let me let me re-roll. I'll first of all take um Tainted Blue Baby off there. Where on earth is Tainted Blue Baby? Uh Tainted Blue Baby, there it is. Yeah, Tainted Blue Baby just needs delirium. Okay. Apologies for that. Let's uh, let's bring that back up again and re-randomize. Randomize again. Forgotten to the beast. We tried this one prior. We did, but we're going to try it again. Uh, we're going to give it another go. This is our last mark that we need for the forgotten. It was pretty tough the last time we tried it. Uh, but I have to say, I enjoy this character a lot. And I mean a lot. Uh, we did Greedier with him very recently. And I again, I will say this multiple times. I, I keep saying it. But I do apologize for those of you that really want to see more character variety. And want to see like me playing all the different characters. But just realize that the very instant that we finish all of our completion marks and get, um, get Death Certificate unlocked. I will be going back to doing random streaks and randomizing between every single character in the game. Maybe apart from Jacob and Lazarus, depending on the state that they're in. I tend to Jacob and Lazarus that is but uh everyone else is gonna be able to be randomized I don't know where the enemies are right now it's scaring me I hate it when that happens okay good but yes uh so hopefully hopefully that um that works out fine and you guys sort of understand I really don't think this is gonna affect literally anything it'd be so funny if he just skipped along <laughs> imagine that you throw him and he's like a little skipping stone himself how is that not the synergy actually that's that's so perfect I would love to see that Right, uh, going to our shop real quick. We want to be buying soul hearts if we can get them, but there isn't any available right now. We are going to the beast here, so we have no, like, time constraints or anything. We're just kind of just going and seeing what we can get done. Uh, secret room-wise, I'm not really sure at this moment in time. But yeah, we ended up getting a very good run together for uh, Tainted Forgotten 2 Greedier. Um, we, we got a game break with the with the D-Infinity. Although we didn't really use the D-Infinity too much for the game break. We mainly just used the D-Infinity to guarantee full HP. And it was a fun one. A very fun one indeed. Uh, as far as Greedier mode goes, I had a, had a decent time. But we at least have not been hit yet. Uh, that's very good for me. Um, I don't know how best to fight this guy, I've got to admit. Like, obviously we can't get hit by the creep, so that's uh, that kind of nullifies part of the threat with this dude. But do we do we want to be leading him into our dude here? No, that's obviously not working at all. Okay, good. Oh god, he's too fast. Okay, he did get me once, but we got booster pack. That could be really, really good for us. Um, Ace of Diamonds, the Fool, two of Diamonds. I think we just grab two of Diamonds and use it right now. Then we Ace of Diamonds and we go and check out our shop. Did we did we see anything in the shop we like? I don't think we did. Otherwise, I, I swear I would have mentioned it. So let's check and see. Yeah, it was just perfect go. But now we've got 30 cent going down to the next floor, which is absolutely fantastic and an ace of diamonds to keep us safe too which is always nice uh anything else we want to use before we leave no let's just go down hopefully we can find a trinket and get ourselves get ourselves the um extra life curse of the unknown isn't too bad we know what health we're currently on i'm just gonna blow you up we got ourselves a pill i'll even take it perks eh not too good but good to know it exists boom uh right take out you meaty boy i can't believe how far you flew then Kind of crazy. Okay, good. Shops. I think shop is definitely priority, but we got an extra key anyways, so it really doesn't matter now. I was going to say it's priority with the one key, but it doesn't matter anymore. Yes, 100% we take that. Especially so early on, that is going to basically completely um, make all of our consumable gains absolutely fine for the rest of this run. Uh, and that's very good as well. Uh, and all stats up. 
I mean, it's not the best all stats up, but it's it's damage, it's range, it's health, and look how cool this looks. Um, we are using the the mod more forgotten costumes, and it does work for Tainted Forgotten as well. So we might see some new costumes for this character that we haven't previously seen. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. Just play it safe here. Play it safe. Okay, that was very annoying. We definitely need some more big damage ups. Because this guy isn't really doing much right now. Mum's heal would be perfect right now. Uh, the extra contact damage plus the extra range is a very good combo on this character. I accidentally put that fire out. I kind of didn't want to do that, to be honest. Hopefully he ends up bombing himself. He does tend to do that relatively often. We'll see. We're, we're kind of missing the direct impact throws at the minute, which is slightly problematic. There you go. We got him. Uh, that is a damage up at least. That is a damage up. We'll grab that and go down to the next floor. Okay, so damage up uh, has been good. And that, like I said, we wanted a big damage up. And that ended up being quite a big one. Um, so, so far, pretty happy. I think our health is only, like, the only major concern right now. Uh, let's gather these guys. So, this is going to be kind of tough. So, I think we sit him down instead of uh, anything else here. Just so we can take out the, the, the guys before they reform. Yeah, this is going to be kind of annoying. Um, drag you through and then throw. There we go. Uh, I'll take the pills. I'm, I'm okay to take a little bit of risk. Ah, oh, no. What makes us small is pretty bad. Uh, as you can see, it makes us smaller. Uh, but the bigger thing is it makes it much harder to throw this guy and hit multiple targets. Because he is now a small boy. Because it affects his swing size as well somewhat. Uh, it's not it's not bad with only one one makes you smaller, but it's still I prefer not a uh, little chubby Absolutely fine. Not exactly the best item in the game, but it's not bad either I'm rather happy with it. Ho hopefully we can get some good stuff from our shop again this time around but Yeah, I think with the damage we've currently got going on here. We should be fine um, Smack that all on the floor uh, let's see if there's a contesting room. Do you know what? I was going to say a contesting room for Ace of Diamonds. That is a contesting room. And we got a fuck ton of money from this room. Holy hell. Uh, basically, I wanted a room that we didn't use it to save ourselves. We just used it to get an insane amount of money. And that worked out. I'm actually going to bomb this considering we just got a bunch of extra bombs. Another one makes you smaller here. We can need to find a one makes you larger. Health looks great. I'm in party. Yeah, I'd like to find the one makes you larger pill. I'm pretty sure if one exists, the other has to as well. Um, good, good. Shop is super important for us right now with the amount of money we got going on. Unfortunately, we're getting slightly unlucky with our uh, with our shops. Uh, we should probably try and fish for a secret room as well. We have enough bombs to make it work. So let's uh, take a little look on a few of the places that might be secret room worthy. Good, good. Nice. Getting a lot of charge keys at the minute. It's kind of odd. Good, good. We definitely want to go in here. Five room would be very good for us right now. Six room isn't worth it. I, I think that this run is actually pretty good. We have enough health, enough money, and yeah. We, we've got enough of everything to make this work. I don't think it's worth jeopardizing. Okay. This guy's going to be a little bit of a pain, but one more throw should get him. Good, good. Again, this room's a bit of a pain as well. But it's okay. Wow, we one-shot that mushroom guy then. He must have opened his head at the perfect time for us. Good. Okay, so I don't actually know where Secret Room is this floor, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's use our Empress card here to get a bit more damage on this dude. Also makes us look absolutely badass. Yeah, that's good. You're taken care of, pretty much. Yes, there you go. And a bunch more HP as well. Okay, this is this is looking good. Everything here is looking good. Okay. Kind of speeding through the floors at this point, but I think that's okay. Uh, nothing we really want to do there. Pop in here. Crack that up. And Endless Nameless, for one, it's a trinket. But for two, it's just good for us to have because Endless Nameless is pretty fucking amazing. Uh, it's a trinket that I feel is very underrated in the Isaac community. It lets you use some pills, runes, whatever, multiple times. And some of them can be really good. Uh, Nevernamed was just telling me the other day that he got Endless Nameless with Soul of Lilith. 
Like, imagine that. Soul of Lilith that you have a 50% chance to not consume and be able to use multiple times. That's so good. It's always one of those things that I forget that I have as well, which is a good thing, really. Um, I'm going to bomb this. Sadly, nothing. God damn, this is a very strong run right now. Still a little worried about our size down. I still think that's going to play a bit of a, a role in being an issue. But also, the, the revive that we get for dropping a trinket and getting in a child makes me a lot smaller as well. So I can imagine that being a bit of a problem. Give us health up. Yes! It's only one soul heart. It's not exactly the best, but one soul heart's better than nothing. Also, it's, it goes thematically with our current costume. I like it. Holy shit, the damage. One-shotting everything. Brilliant. Soul of the Forgotten isn't that good, but it does allow us to um, freely play a sacrifice room should we find one. I'm definitely going to hold on to it for that reason. And with Endless Nameless, it does mean we might get multiple of them. We can also play Blood Banks or anything like that as well. Okay. Let's crack that open. Getting flies from all of these guys at the minute. That's good because the burnies are annoying as all hell. This is a little bit of a harder room, honestly. A little bit of a harder room. Good, good. Good, good. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Secret room. Have we found a secret room contester yet? I'm just going to try here because it looks like it could be. Yeah, it is. Um, Wasn't worthwhile anyways. But yeah, I just thought I'd try there anyways. We got it, but sadly, no item, no good stuff for us. Okay, slightly more annoying room here. Um, don't know how best to play this one. Don't know how best to play. I think I'm going to try and take them out just sort of one at a time and see how it goes. In fact, we might be able to kite them a little bit around this. At least the, the bomber dudes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then we go in here. That's very, very good. Um, we do have a spare trinket now as well here, so let's grab this and take it to the boss room and make sure we drop it in there. Even though this trinket is very, very good. That first hit, I think. Even though this trinket is very, very good, the Endless Nameless is better in my opinion. Okay, that was perfect. You blew up everything I hated there. And an Eternal Heart. Oh my god, car battery as well with Book of uh, Book of Shadows. That's so good. Right, so hot Book of Shadows. It makes the ghost invincible as well. I'll, I'll prove that now. Yeah, look, we're, we're invincible as well. So don't worry about that. Even though we don't visually get the invincibility, we do actually get the invincibility. And with car battery, it's going to last like, what, what will it be? Like 40 seconds? Like I never remember how long Book of Shadows actually lasts. But as you can see, it's a pretty, it's a pretty significant amount of time. Angel deal here. I will take this. Um, yes. Okay, we did get a range down, but everything else is pretty positive here. Uh, Angel deal. We're going to take Monstrance because we're going to be getting close to enemies. Uh, Monstrance is actually very, very strong here because it means we can uh, like do stuff, um, do damage without actually swinging. So we pick up that and we go back and get Endless Nameless here. We are. Does our range lower how far we throw him? Because I swear we normally throw him across the entire room. And we didn't quite make that then. Um, maybe it just couldn't have the momentum there. But anyways, we've left that there. Just remember, make sure we don't accidentally balk our fool card or whatnot. Because this is a very, very a strong run that could very easily do the beast, I think. Euthanasia here is really good too. The youth in Asia. Grab, grab. Quickly check in here. No thank you. Um, yeah, we've got enough bombs for this to be worthwhile, I think. There we go. Full health. Pretty good. Don't need to grab that. That's good. But yeah, Monstrance is really good here. The The smaller ring, the closer one, is going to do a lot more damage. Um, the bigger ring, not so much, but bigger ring is going to be good. Ooh, that was pretty interesting. 
now. Kind of expected that to happen. Um, throwable. Double tap. Grants a familiar. Nah, we don't really care about that. Good, good. Our money has been sitting pretty for so long now. We need to buy some good stuff from the shop. We've not really been getting great shop items there. Car battery was, of course, fantastic, but our other shops have been a bit meh. Been a little bit meh. Let's use this pill. What makes you larger, endless, nameless? There you go. We fixed our size and, in fact, improved it. This is really good. <laughs> endless, nameless, plus that. Very, very, very good. That was really positive for us there. Let's keep going. Would have liked to get it a few more times, like, make us absolutely giant, but that's fine. The sun. Endless nameless sun card. It just keeps going. Um, I think Soul of the Forgotten is still worth keeping, just in case we get that sack room. Because I think sack room plus this guy will mean we can get some free angel deals, hopefully. Good, good. Plant our bomb here. I am loving this run so far. I'm loving this run. Monstrance is such a good pickup. We're having a great time. We've got loads of invincibility. Endless Nameless is procking like a mad lad. Thank you for the troll bomb. 40 hour energy. 40 hour energy. <laughs> you see, Endless Nameless is just fucking great. It's so good. Good. More keys. Goddamn. Humbling Bundle. People are like, Humbling Bundle got nerfed. Ugh, it's such an unnecessary nerf. It's like, if you've seen my consumables, this is after the nerf. What are you talking about? Holy shit. Double our bombs. Double our bombs. Thank you, Endless Nameless. Leprosy is not great, but it's fine. Um, Goddamn. This is, this is a sexy run. This is a sexy run. Extra soul hearts here for us as well. Ow, I can't believe I got hit there. That's fine, though. It at least produces a leprosy ball, whatever you want to call it. Uh, sadly, not really much we want to take from here. I will take another card. It's just the sun card again. Here comes the sun. Dadam doo -doo. Right. Carry on. Carry on going. Keep on keeping on. A um, little bit of an annoying room here, I'll have to admit. But we should be fine. I know that we could use our in invincibility here, but I'm, I'm just saving it for our boss, to be honest. Making sure we have it available for that. Good, good. Right. Good thing is with this, even the good thing is about the invincibility as well. We can even just do this. And, like, just use Monsterance and not even use our dude. Look at that. So good. Health up is fine. We don't need to take it yet, though. The mind is very good. I'm very happy about that. Ooh, look at the visuals as well. The beating. That, that's from the animated costumes mod. Uh, right, we are ready to go. Um, I will go and do our second secret room. Yeah, why the hell not? It's gonna, not going to take us long to, uh, to go back. Let's just try and remember to... Um, to grab ourselves the fool card. Do not forget that. That would be very dumb. That would be very, very dumb. Boom, boom, bow. Sadly, completely worthless. God damn it. The theming of our character right now, like the visuals of our character, are absolutely stupendous. They're amazing. He looks so good. Like, I would love to see someone draw this. <laughs> This is such a cool looking character. Right. Keep it going. And down to the next floor. Again, remember the fool card. Do not forget it. I'm just going to keep saying it. Because if I keep saying it, I can't forget. We are definitely going for the beast, right? Yes, we are. Good. Good, good, good. Anything that gets near us just starts dying. It's great. Pop in here. Another soul hatch. Remember that's there. Compound fracture. I don't think it does much for us, but it does give us range at least. There's our tinted skull. Remember we can't bomb that yet. 
Oh, Compound Fracture is doing some stuff with uh, Euthanasia there. So, crack that open. Uh, we don't have a sack room this floor, so unfortunately, um, Soul of the Forgotten, you're going to be left by the wayside a little here. Oh, ho, 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 Euthanasia. That's fun. That is fun. I like it a lot. Crack that. Do you know what? Just crack through here as well. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Whoopsie. Battery charge, boy. Honestly, let's let's just play this guy to double over our charges. Wait, what? What, what? What did you do then? Double up my charges, boy. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. I don't know why, but it doesn't. Normally, you can like use him to double your charges. Oh, well, that room was over quickly. Uh, don't need to go to there. We've got our full card in hand. Good. Don't accidentally use it. That would be dumb. Damn it. Oh, what a run. Do, 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 Oh, what a run. I love this run. Oh, also, I didn't even realize, but the, uh, the the stepping stone, whatever you want to call it, uh, skipping stone, it's really funny with, um, with euthanasia as well. Look at that. Love it. Oh, what a run. I'm just doing these rooms for fun at this point. I don't even need to do them. Beautiful. There is another few fellas over there. There you go. Come on, a spider. Get over here. Let's bomb that as well. Bomb that. I keep, I keep checking. Full card in hand. Good. Full card in hand. Good. Okay. Did get hit once, but that's okay. Okay, almost dead. Come on, mother, what are you doing? There you go. No devil deal or whatever. Take the Polaroid. Grab this. We've got our full card. And we take... <laughs> this is this is kind of tough. Do we take triple shot or do we take infestation two? Because this would be a tears down, which is kind of bad. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it. It could be terrible, but I'm thinking that when you throw your bone for the first time, you do an initial hit. And the initial hit is going to do much, much more. It should mean more one-shot kills. Okay, this was this was awful. Uh, I, I I have absolutely no idea how I'm not meant to take damage in that room. I should have just used my space bar, right? I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I think this should lead to a lot more one-shot kills. Thank you. And the thing is as well, Infestation 2 doesn't really do anything. Um, on the on the beast fight, or at least it doesn't do much because the spiders have a really hard time hitting. Uh, we do have to get a tinted rock in here. Let's check that for small rock. Just a soul heart. Just a soul heart, boy. Oh, hello. Okay. Right. This is kind of a tough one. Because more of the void is really, really good, but doesn't really help us that much because we're going to be not really charging it up. And brimstone bombs are kind of the same. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to. I'm not, not going to mess with a formula that's already working. We, we we know that this this runs already good enough as is. No, thank you. No broken remote, please. Okay, I, I can't get back to my boy. 
Yeah, the, the one the one problem I'm seeing with the triple shot is it is definitely making our misses much more impactful. If we throw and miss, it definitely is more devastating. I wouldn't exactly say it's like run ending. It's, it's not like we're going to get hit because of that, but it's definitely noticeably slower. Rules card, thank you. But at the same time, I think I think it's fine. A lot of red hearts. Nice. Good, good. A few more boys about. Oh, it's one of you. Got you. And a few of you guys. Oh, what the hell? He did not die. Kind of weird because it like it looks like they die because it splits up into shots from euthanasia, but then they're not dead. Uh, Red Stew is great here. Um, yeah, I think Red Stew is going to be really good here. Check out item room real quick. Rocket in a jar we don't care for. Let's just take the other item. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Spoon Bender is pretty good. Kind of wish I got the Brimstone Bombs now, but it's fine. Emperor doesn't really help us. Right, let's get out of here. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Binky, thank you. Full health and fire rate, which we desperately needed. Also, the herming with euthanasia is going to be really good. Right, down we go. I doubt, I doubt we'll end up keeping red stew long enough for it to be valuable, but it will make getting through the ascent a little easier. This should be the exit floor. Nope, it's this one. Good, good. We're on the ascent. This should be a success. Like, it would be weird if this one wasn't, right? It would be very weird if this one wasn't. Remember to pick up our cracked key as well. Oh, shit. Got a really bad hit there. That was just me assuming the enemy was dead. Remember, though, we still get three soul hearts from sleeping in the bed. Okay, so I am noticing one thing. Ah, for fuck's sake. I am noticing one thing. Sometimes my guy just, like, doesn't... Oh, my God. Do you know them three soul hearts that we're getting? We're going to fucking need them because this is tragic. Use my space for item, you moron. Okay, there it is. Gone. Nice. Why did I even go this way? This obviously wasn't the right way. Obviously wasn't the right way. Oh my god, I'm getting hit way too much right now. Just use the space bar item, you dullard. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like so easy to use it. <laughs> and it's so easy for us to get charges for it too. Nah, go through this way. This way's easier. Please get out the way of the door so I can leave. How did that not kill either of you? I can't believe how much health I've lost. This is so, like, fucking tragic. Super dumb damage. Completely unnecessary. Mushroom explosion got me. Fantastic. Okay, that was insanely quick for the enemies that we were faced up against there. I think, I think I euthanasia'd them and just insta-killed them. God damn, yeah, our health got real low. Real low. Um, can't take any of those right now. Good, good. This is a room I do not like. How are you not dead yet, sir? Thank you. <laughs> I love it when that happens. 
Hilarious. Oh, almost got hit again there. This should be it. Yep. Okay. So we're going, we're definitely going in with a lot less health than I intended. But at least the bed's still here. <laughs> right. I think that we're going to have kind of a hard time against, um, what's his name? Dogma. But otherwise we should be okay. We grab it in a key that gave us another cracked key. <laughs> Uh, just grab that. I mean, that's actually kind of good. It does extra damage for us. I'm just going to quickly go back over here and grab this. Oh, no, it's more make you smaller. I thought it was an Emperor card for some reason. Was there not an Emperor card in here? Nope. That was ages ago. More Ron. Right, when do we use Book of Shadows is the, is the sort of big ask here. I think we use it second phase, because this first phase... I, I have to say, okay, okay, game, is this how it's going to be, is it? Is this how it's going to be? Because this really doesn't feel fair. Um, <laughs> I, honestly, I cannot believe that just happened. Get insta-hit upon starting the fight. Insta-hit, literally. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I got hit that much there. That was such harsh shit. I don't know when the uh, invincibility ends, so I'm just going to pretend that we that we need it. Oh, no, we still, we still got it. Holy shit, it lasts a long time. Now we don't have it. Of course he starts this attack once we need it. so bad at this game. Oh no! Ah! Somebody save me from my specialty. And my specialty is me being special. Okay, now we should be fine. Because we get we heal up to six. So we get three extra soul hearts here. Oh my god, I can't believe that. That was that was bad. We should be able to kill these dudes pretty quick. Unfortunately. What the fuck it <gasps> What are you <laughs> What? No! How on earth was I supposed to even dodge that? I don't understand. This is going to hit us a bunch as well because these flies are nuts. Look at him, look at him! Ah, ah, ah! We might actually lose this. Honestly, we might. I thought this was going to be easy, but holy shit. Dogma just absolutely, like, shat on me. Uh, I kind of have to get over there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is really hard. <laughs> oh my god. Only use space bar once it's necessary. These flies are annoying. I think we use it now. Just so we can get in there and throw them again. There you go. That's good. Ah, I actually can't believe how badly this is going. Oh, we f I forgot we're on a three charge, not a two charge. It's kind of annoying because we have to keep the dude hovered around uh, our, our fella. To make sure that we get the ability to deal damage, but it's very, very hard to do so, to be honest. Oh, but he just, you won't let me pick him up. I think we're dead. I, I just don't know how you do this. It's too... I've literally never seen him do that attack in my entire life. What on earth was that? Bouncing around the room, is that a thing that you do now? Fuck me, this has gone terribly. Holy sugar tits. Fuck me, no way. And now we're all small. There's no way we do this now. Absolutely no way. Like, I can't pick him up, he's too small. 
It does make us small, though, which is something I didn't think it would do. This is... It's just pants. We can't even... Like, look at that. I can't even pick him up. I can't even pick him up. What am I meant to do? <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think we're going to be able to no-hit this. I just don't. I just I just think something's going to go terribly, terribly wrong. Terribly, terribly wrong. Right. Careful for the falling stalagmites. The falling ones always get me. Okay, he's entered last phase. That's good. Oh, my God. This has been so stressful. And it still is, to be honest. Oh, my good giddy God. We did it on half a heart. Holy crap was that difficult. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a very fun run that should have gone way better than it did, but the dogma fight went so bad. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.